Be kind. Do good. Welcome to Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. I've got baby Gemma. She is my Huxley sculpt by Andrea Arcello. And she is going to do a tag today. We're going to get her outfit changed. So she's going to have her very first outfit change on camera. Now we did do her outfit of the day that she's still wearing uh, the other day. We did a shorts video. But today I'm actually going to do a complete changing video with her. And we're going to do Auntie Nikki over at All About Reborn Nora's tag. And it's called the Twitch Your Nose Tag. But first, I'm going to show you what she's going to be wearing before we get into the tag. I got her little headband made. It's specifically made to fit her head, so it's like a really great fit for her. It's got a white band and a hot pink bow with two buttons sewn on. One is a flamingo button that is sewn onto a pink polka dot flower button. And the flamingo is red, pink, and white. And then she's going to be wearing this adorable little Wonder Nation sunsuit. It's like a bubble romper. And um, it has flamingos and rainbows on a white background. And the rainbows are just really colorful. Some of them are different colors from the others. And the flamingos have two colors. One is magenta with orange legs. And the other one is like a light pink with orange legs. So that's going to be her little outfit along with these little white sandals that have flowers on the toes and the flowers are all white it's like a really shiny material so very very summery i think it's going to look so cute on Gemma. so i'm going to get her place to where she's laying down she's sitting up here now on the changing basket and she's holding the horn of this little unicorn. But my friend and sis Christy got this for me. Now, she's on Facebook, but she doesn't have a channel or anything. She actually considered it once, but she is in the hobby and she collects the dolls. And she has a lot of fun with them. And she lives nearby me. And I've actually known her for a long time because our boys used to play ball together. So let's get baby Gemma all positioned to where she can get changed. Oh, and we're, I'm also going to put a fresh diaper on her. So I don't know which one of these I'm going to choose, but these are from the Comforts diapers that I showed you the other day. So I guess I'll decide which one I'm going to choose. One has fruits on it and the other one has like little bird feet. Maybe we should do the bird feet since she's wearing flamingos. Yeah, let's do that. This one has little hearts and birdie feet on it. Okay, so let's get started on those six questions that Nikki asked in her original video, which will be linked below in the description box as well as my pinned comment. So question number one is, would you change, oh look, I have these on backwards. <laughs> oh well. Would you change a sculpt in your collection? My current collection, no, but I did, already do this by changing sculpts in my collection I sold a lot of babies I decided to take more time in deciding what type of babies I like and I slowed down on buying babies so that way I would know that I would only have the babies that I really really wanted in my collection so that I would be keeping them long term instead of looking to sell and buy something else so the answer to that is definitely yes in the past i did i changed a lot of sculpts in my collection but the collection i currently have at the moment no i love every one of them that i have question number two would your dolly lineup still be the same so if i could twitch my nose my dolly lineup would have been different and that's because i would have chosen more toddler size babies on the beginning because I really enjoy the toddler size babies the six to nine month size and things like that versus newborn not to say I don't enjoy newborn but just the bigger babies especially in the vinyl is they're more fun to me so I definitely would change my lineup and I would have gotten more bigger babies sooner 
Question number three, would you spend more or less or about the same money on your dolls? I think I would spend more because I went with a lot of budget babies on the beginning and then realized I didn't like that style of baby. And the, what I'm talking about is like the budget babies that I had purchased had like three quarter limbs and stuff like that. And then I came to realize I didn't like three quarter limbs. So even though that was a, a learning curve and learning experience, but if I'm twitching my nose because I already know that then um yeah i would spend a little bit more and get the type of babies that i know i'm going to enjoy even if it took longer for me to get that baby i also was like into instant gratification you know i bought the budget babies because it was easier to come up with less money than more money obviously <laughs> so um question number four what would your present self say to your beginner self well, I would definitely tell myself to splurge on the baby that you really want, to save up if you have to, if it's out of your price range at the moment. It doesn't mean that it's out of your price range forever. It just means that, you know, you can't buy a baby every week. Save up the money and buy the baby that you really want and don't put stipulations on yourself about I shouldn't be spending this or that and don't feel guilty about getting a baby you really love because you're worth it that's what I would tell myself question number five have you regretted selling or taking a doll out of your collection definitely Phoenix by Andrea Arcello is one that I definitely regret I ended up trading that baby for another baby and it was for a sculpt that I was just given a try to just to see if I would like it and it wasn't the sculpt for me and I ended up selling that baby but yeah um, I if I could go back I would keep him and not get rid of him and I also wish that I hadn't have gotten rid of my Romilly by Cassie Brace but um, you can still get that and I didn't realize I thought the sculpt was sold out but I noticed that McPherson's had some more so who knows that baby may be coming back to my nursery. You never know. Question number six. If you could twitch your nose and start your collecting over with the knowledge that you have now, would you? I think I've kind of already answered that in my other questions that I answered. But yes, um, if I have the knowledge that I know now, then definitely because I would have started off my collection with the babies that I know I would like. Not being able to know the future, of course, you have to have that learning curve and have the experience to find out the things you need to know. But if I could twitch my nose and go back in time, yeah, absolutely. I would definitely start the collecting over with all of my knowledge that I have today as far as artists and sculpts and what I like and all that. So yeah, I would have to say with my knowledge, definitely. Okay y'all, so now that we've done the tag, I've just got to show you this beautiful baby sitting up in this outfit. I absolutely adore her. Oh my gosh, I never knew that I would adore the Huxley sculpt so much. And I know it has a lot to do with like her, her blue eyes. Oh my goodness, I get so many compliments on this baby's eyes. Her blue eyes are just stunning, they're striking. They're very high quality glass eye and I think they are so beautiful. But I just love everything about this baby. I never knew that I would enjoy a painted hair baby so much, but it just looks so realistic. And I mean, I just, I love her. And the Huxley sculpt is just adorable. I actually sent her a uh, details video to Andrea Arcello and she was happy to see her and she was like, oh, how fun. You know, she was 
um, enjoying seeing me have such a great time with her and how much I love her. And of course, I was complimenting her sculpting. And I also, of course, contacted her artist, as I told you, and um, let her know that I was getting the baby. But once I contacted Kristen, um, after I got her, I let her know how beautiful her painting was and just how pleased I am with the baby. And, of course, she was very gracious and said thank you and all that. And she was just a really sweet person. So, um, I was just pleased as punch to be able to get this baby. Like I said, this was not a planned baby. I usually plan my babies out to the T. But every once in a while, a baby comes along that is unplanned, just like in real life. <laughs> unplanned babies happen. But she's sweet and precious. I love her. And like I said, oh my goodness. This little outfit. I made this headband. And this little outfit with this headband and the sandals. Like the whole ensemble just pulled together. It's it's just, it says summertime. So I love it. I am so, so happy that I decided to go with this. And yeah, six to nine months Honestly, I don't know if all Huxleys wear six to nine months because I actually believe, don't know this for sure, but I think she was put on a bigger body, which I love. So if you have a Huxley and you were wanting to put them on a bigger body, I don't know really what size this body is. I would have to measure it. I'll, I'll do that when I change her again because she's got lots of cute clothes. She's going to be getting changed a lot. But, um... I'll measure that body and find out what size body that is. Like I'll go on McPherson's or whatever and find out what the body ratio is for the kit size. Because um, honestly, I think normally that kit would probably wear three to six months. And she's six to nine, no doubt. When you try to put something three to six months on her, it is tight. Like Jenny said, um, I mean, some things are a little bigger, so you just have to eyeball it. But I don't think that kit normally wears six to nine months, and she does. And like I said, she looks great on this body. It doesn't look odd. She doesn't look like she's too long. It looks great because she has the chunky limbs and all that. So that's my beautiful Gemma, and I am so pleased to have her. I think I'm going to get her some little tiny earrings and pierce her ears so if I do I'll make a video out of that so that is all with little Miss Gemma for now I'm gonna leave her passy off I'm gonna put it right here though I'm gonna leave it off of her face cuz I just love her little facial expression it's so cute so that's it for today y'all we will see you in our next video and remember to always always be kind do good. This has been Lighthearted Life and Collectibles.